One of the things I heard from a lot of farmers last winter was, well, I don't know about going to extend beans. I can only spray dicamba up to R1. I said, do you know what the Liberty label says? Do you know what the Roundup label says? With Liberty, it's the exact same restriction. And I'd get farmers that say, what? I've sprayed it in August before. <laughs> well, if you did, you were off label. Today, we wanna to talk a little about spraying Liberty, Roundup, and dicamba on the appropriate soybeans. Yes, it's a critical time of year when we're right towards the end of our spraying window. And you may think, well, my soybeans aren't even that big and I may have another flush come up later. That's why residual herbicides are so important. They have to carry you through the season. It's also why crop canopy is so important. So if you can get your crop to fill in and shade out the rows, oftentimes we don't have to fight weeds later on. But we do have one more shot at controlling weeds if you're at the proper stage. So let's talk about Liberty, for example. Brian mentioned R1, that's first bloom. So as soon as you start seeing flowers out in your field, you gotta get going with that last Liberty application if you still have some weeds to get under control. Now I'm not saying that Liberty is necessarily going to hurt your plants later on, but think about it this way. Just like when we used to spray a lot of Cobra, and I know there's still some Cobra being used today, we would look at, well, I don't wanna stress the plant out once it's in the reproductive stages, that's what's going on here. We don't wanna stress the plants out. And I've heard from farmers that have been spraying Liberty uh, and just ask the question, well, what are you doing that's creating less stress? We've heard some guys talk about, well, I'm adding things like Mega Grow, for example, that helps. I'm trying to spray on days that aren't super hot uh, when that plant might be stressed out, or I'm looking for uh, a time after we get a rainfall so that plant is really growing actively and, and not all stressed out. Uh, I'm using a fungicide a week ahead to reduce stress on the plant. There's a lot of strategies people are doing. The point is, once you get to R1, get your spray done, because after this point, you're not gonna be able to anymore. All right, so what Darren just talked about there, I'm all for reducing stress. But you know what the number one stress is in a lot of fields? Weeds. If you don't control the weeds and you don't control them quickly, you're gonna have a major issue. So I don't care which product we're talking about here, they aren't labeled for late use. I personally don't think any of them are gonna hurt the crop at R4, even R6, but they're just not labeled then. Could it be with residue studies, whatever? I don't know exactly the reason why. All I know is the label's the law. That's what we've got to follow. So Liberty says R1. That's first flower. Dicamba, Ingenia, Extendamax, R1. Roundup is R2. So in other words, as soon as you see a pod in your field, you aren't supposed to be spraying any of those herbicides anymore. Okay, so again, like Darren said, we want residuals out there. Sure, dicamba has some residuals. So if you switch to extend beans this year, and you might have said too, like I, I heard this just the other day, somebody was asking me again, well, I hear there are a lot of guys that aren't gonna spray dicamba in their extend beans. I said, I don't think there's gonna be a single guy out there because everybody's gonna have a few weeds and go, you know what? Dicamba's way better than Roundup. Dicamba's actually gonna kill that weed. I'm gonna spray it. I don't have any problem with these new formulations. They're great. Ingenia, Extendamax, follow the label. They're awesome. I'm not worried about off-target movement. I'm not worried about anything. You're gonna have great weed control. It's just that you gotta spray early. You've gotta spray by R1 so you're on label. And that's the main reason why we wanted to talk about this today. Here's the last thing, weed size. If you don't get your spraying done now, uh, if you have something like pigweed, for example, it's gonna grow so fast that you're gonna have a tough time bringing it down later anyway. So just get out there, get your spraying done when it's on label, and you'll have the best results. Well, one of the weeds you might see out in your field is our Weed of the Week. We'll talk about how to control it coming up next.